Yes, that's right. It's Champions League day today. So what I want you to do is put down in the comments how far you think we're going to go. You saw our group in the last episode. So do you think we can win it? Do you think we'll even get out of the group? Because with Marseille and Atletico Madrid, you never know. So let me know. And hey, also subscribe to the channel. But today, we're going to start with a league game against Bayern Munich. We played them in the last episode in the Super Cup, which we managed to win, but they played a weakened side. Then we start with Marseille. I shall sim Hoffenheim. I'll play Gladbach and I will play Atletico Madrid away to end the episode. We will go through a month today. This season might be just a little bit longer than the last season, but that's because of the Champions League football. So I think we'll allow it. But we may as well just get straight into Bayern now. Already then a massive game, Bayern in the league, but I have had to rotate. I've given Minor a go, Matazo, Mulder, Van Grakic and Justin all start. I'm having to play the weekend team this time. Let's hope we don't get smacked about. So the fake Allianz Arena then it is for today. It's Anderson Park, it's called. Basically, I don't care. I just need to not lose by too much because if we win this today, we're already, I think, six points in front of Bayern, which would be huge. Ball out for Lewandowski. No one's got there. It's going to fall to Muller. Great save from Castillos and Arnold hasn't cleared it, luckily. Bayern pressing early on. We've got the ball with Castillos. My God. Rocker into Lewandowski and another great save from Castillos. 13 and a half minutes in and the only reason we're not behind is Cohen Castillos in the goal. We need to get this clearance out but Castillos makes another save. Lewandowski into Rocker I believe this is. Matazzo's put a foot in twice and done really well. Reclo on the edge of the box hasn't got enough room to shoot but he's found Begos. Can he finish? Oh it looks like he can and against the runner play we go ahead. Come on. Valt Begos continuing his form from the last episode, scoring not as early this time, but it is 1-0. Begos picks up the ball, this is what we like to see, we play on the counter, we keep it tight at the back and we try and score from here, nearly with Philip. And there goes the half-time whistle, pretty good half from us if I'm, all, if I'm honest, pretty pretty good. We've been the second best team in the, on this pitch, but I'm taking a 1-0 lead into the break. Kyle Walker now. James Justin steams through him and takes him out. We'll have to see it. Breckelow, surely the ball first time to Vegos is on. It is, but Vegos hasn't got the pace. Breckelow, get going. Off you go again. That's it. First time ball or second time. Minor, strike it. On the attack, he should score. It was a good counter. Bayern was stretched. We should have made them pay. Lewandowski. I can see Leroy Sane. Pongrakic makes a good challenge. Bayern has got the ball away from Hernandez here. We just need players in the box. I can see him coming at the back post, but Phillips got himself free and put it wide. The chances we're getting have to be going in. That's two now to make it two that we should have scored. Sane once again in behind Justin. I've not got a cross, and there we go. Our chances that we've missed have come back to bite us because Lewandowski scores a simple tap-in to make it 1-1 with 20 minutes to go. 10 minutes to go now, and Bayern are the ones in control. They've got all the ball. And it looks like they'll make the next chance. There it is with Hernandez now. Ball across. Can James Justin get it? There he can't. He didn't even go for it. And I don't know why. But Thomas Muller, with seven minutes to go, has put Bayern ahead. Begost on the ball is probably one of our last chances. He's not going to make a run past someone. And he can't find Hernandez. Or not even Hernandez. Minor. Sane over the top for Lewandowski. A strike and a goal. Great finish. Great ball. Game over. 3-1, what a finish that was. And there's no time left, not to get two, maybe one. But because they've conceded another, that looks like it's going to be game over any second. And there goes the whistle. Not good enough from us, not good enough. We had two chances to make it 2-0 and then possibly even 3-0 if we'd finished the first one. But conceding two goals, two good goals to Bayern to be fair. And we lose 3-1. But it is time to put that defeat behind us to Bayern. They may be right next to us now in the league. But we need to turn our attention to Champions League football as we play Marseille in the first game week of the group stage. Let's get it. And we will be going with this starting eleven against Marseille in the Champions League. Now, having played Bayern just previously, like two days ago, we um, have had to make a few changes. Bielek, Doan and Sanvi come in. The rest of the back line's back as normal. Hopefully, we're good enough to beat these up. Because really, we don't know much about them. We this is our first European game, so hopefully we just we manage to do a job, and our quality that we have got is good enough to see us through. But let's go and find out. Bielek now, oh straight through to Baku. He's gonna have to chip him. He's gonna go down, and it's gonna go in though. Six minutes in, and we've counted and we've scored. Marseille look fast on the break, but they haven't really threatened so far, and we take the lead. Well, how's that for a fast start then in your first Champions League game? You love to see it. Hopefully we continue it. No one picking up the ball. Can we find a man? Can we find Philip? It's a long ball, but he's going to get there. Oh, great save. Bounced off him. And here's a goal kick. 
I've got to say though, Bielek's link up play is fantastic. Into Sambi, he's going to turn, he's going to do well. Bielek, take your touches, have your shot, Bielek. He's still got it. Can we get it in? Shoot, Baku. Oh, it's a great save. And away it goes. Oh, Doan, that's a great turn. Play for Philip. A first touch and a finish, surely. Oh, it's fantastic. Straight off Locatelli's shot. There would have been a cut, but oh my god. Great turn by Doan. And we're 2 0 up. Look at this turn. Brilliant. Sells the defender. I mean, Philip, it's an easy finish once he gets it, but it's all Witsu Doan. Bielek driving. There's the ball. And it's straight through for Philip. Bartos Bielek once again showing how good he is at linking up, but can he find him? Oh, nearly got it back to him. And there goes the half time whistle, and I'm not going to lie, we've dominated. Marseille came out fast, fast pressing, but as soon as we got a couple of goals, they've been dead. There's just been nothing from them, and I think we're going to win this one. Milik in space, if he finds the man there, because Mbappé's been caught forward. Dimitri Payet, but it's well wide. First corner of the day, then Locatelli is the man standing over it to whip it towards. John Brooks, who's got up, and he's in the bar. Oh, and it nearly fell to Bielek, that's so close. Ball into Bielek, this time he doesn't really have an option. Can we go round the centre-backs? It looks like we can. There's Philip. oh, it's brilliant from Bartos Bielek, Philip. How have you messed that one up? Oh my lord. Doan coming inside. Bielek's going. He deserves a goal today. His link-up play's been so good. Bartos Bielek finishes the game off for 3-0 with 20 minutes to go. He's been so good at linking it up today. He's deserved a goal. Fantastic. Oh, it looks like Lacroix's down with an injury. He's been winning headers all day today, but this looks like a serious one. Not good. Von Grakic then comes on in his place for the last 15, but that's going to be a worry. Philip on the ball this time, going over for Bielek. Is he going to get himself a second? Just one touch, and on the left foot. Always oh, a lovely finish. Always oh, a lovely finish, and he's 4 0 against Marseille. Maybe we will go through in this group. Maybe we will. And there goes the full time whistle on a great performance in our first Champions League game as manager. 4 0 against Marseille. I expected that to happen against Zagreb, not Marseille. Fantastic result. That Lacroix injury then is a dislocated shoulder, so he will be out for two months. But we will get straight into the Hoffenheim sim then. That's a massively rotated 11. There is actually no point in me even going through it. We'll just quick sim it and see what we get. A 2-2 draw. I was hoping for a bit better than that. Origi scoring in the last minute is not helpful. It's another rotated 11 then. Lannis Jr., Braff getting games. Lord Dois getting games. Gulavogi, who I've trained to be a centre-back now, starting at the back. Bielek, though, does start after his amazing performance in the Champions League. He will hopefully get some goals but this is huge against Gladbach, we can't afford a loss here. The feature list really has not been kind to us, Gladbach who are third in the league just before Atletico Madrid in the Champions League, away as well, both of these I believe are away, I can't believe that for those features but we're going to have to just play them and hope that we can do our best today. Jaden Braff who's getting a Bundesliga start by the way has come flying away with the ball here, it doesn't look like there's going to be an option to pass it so he's going to shoot himself and he's going to score. Jaden Braff 10 minutes in has put in a great finish there to put us 1-0 ahead against Gladbach. I was worried the wingers were going to be a problem, but doesn't look like it. Gladbach now dominating possession and slowly getting into the box here. John Brooks, can he do something? It's not, but there's Gulavogi. Castiles, just, I don't know what's happened. We've actually got a goal kick. Here come Gladbach again now. Gulavogi trying to get a foot on it and doing really well. Philip now driving and he sees Lannis Jr. This time it's the other winger that I wasn't sure was going to do well, but he puts the ball across. It's been blocked. Philip to take it on the volley. What is that? Bielek looking for Lannis Jr. This time he's not got a pass on, so he's going to go himself. One winger scored. Can he score? Yes, he can. Just about. Yeah, and Sommer hits the deck a little bit too early, and now Lannis Jr. has got himself a goal. Who do we pick? Who starts? I don't know. They're all so good. Rating-wise, this squad it isn't the best all-rounded, but playing like Matazzo, Lower Dois is a good player. Both wingers now, Braff and Lennis Jr. also good. I don't know who to start. And there's half-time. What a first half. That's been away from home against Gladbach, and we are 2-0 up. I've loved it. Both wingers have been great. Both CDMs have been great. There's so many good players. I've got three good teams I think I can make out of this. But it's a good problem at least. Do you know what I mean? Anyone I put on the pitch seems to be able to perform. So I'm happy with it. And Bolo. Brooks trying to come through. He's not managed it. Hoffman's in behind here. Up against Gulavogi. He's got a block in. But it's fallen. He's put it wide. And Bolo should score. Pressing high now. Pressing high and making the Gladbach work for it. And Babu's missed his challenge. Brooks needs to get there. What a challenge that is. So important. Brooks now. Can he get a challenge in? Yes. But why hasn't he cleared it? Another challenge. We're just diving in and hoping for the best at the moment, but it's working. Matazzo. BLX going. Go back to Matazzo. Oh, you've managed to do it. 
Is Elia Matanzo, can he take a few touches and score? Straight at summer, should be finishing that. Looks like Gula Vogie's gone down with an injury in the middle now, which is not helpful for my centre-back problem. Just added time left, we've defended really well today, I would love to keep the clean sheet. But over the added time, by a minute, they have got themselves a corner. Will Brooks get there or Castillo's to hold? And there goes the final whistle. That's what you want from your keeper in the last minute, it's just to come and claim the ball. That's a great win, 2-0 away at Gladbach is a fantastic win. I'm really pleased, really pleased with that. Especially just before I did to go Madrid in the Champions League. With two centre-backs injured then, with Gula Vogue and Lacroix, we do start Jeffrey Bruma at the back, which would be a worry against Suarez and Kramaric, but they play three at the back, so we could have some space for Brekolo and Bako to work in. Let's hope we do. Let's go and get a win. Another tough away game then after just playing Gladbach away, we've got Atletico Madrid away at the Stadio Metropolitano. We need a win today, we can get one, and if we do, we're ahead in the group. We are strong in the group if we get a win, so let's do it. A possession based start then for Atletico Madrid as I've not even touched the ball yet until just now we'd love to see it. So we're getting away from Pongracic, ball in from into Kramaric, Suarez, Castiles, what? And we go behind to Atletico Madrid because Gohan Castillos didn't dive with the feet of Kramaric. If he dives, he blocks that, cross, that ball coming across to Suarez and it doesn't go in. But now it's 1-0. Brekolo with a bit of space. I spoke about this space and he's got it here. But now we need an option. He's turned inside Marcus Lorente. Vegos and it's blocked. This time it's Ridley Baku then with the space in behind. Can we find Vegos in the box? That's a decent ball, but Oblak comes out well. See, I know Roussillon's got the speed. That's good. Now we've got more players coming forward. Can we work something this time? Out towards Vegos. He lets it run and strikes it. Good save, Oblak. It took 42 minutes, but that is the closest we've come so far. Now can we get Vegos on his header? It's going to be Brekolo to rise. It's missed him. And it's away. Approaching half time, we've had nothing today really. We've had that one shot with Vergost. I mean, chances to get in behind with Baku and Brekolo, but nothing's good doing. Why is the ref blowing the whistle there? Suarez is in. The man's in on goal. Through. Br Bruma's not catching him. I'm going to take it though, because I need the goals. I need the chances. 1 0 and let's go at half time. Earlier in the second half, we got ourselves a lucky corner. This could be our only route to goal, really, with Veghorst, but he puts that one wide. I know I said our only route to goal was going to be Veghorst at corners, but I feel in the link up from Bielek against Marseille was so good, he deserves another chance now. So he's got over half an hour to go. Bielek with a great turn. And there it is. What am I on about? That link up. Back who's in. Baku should score, and Baku does score. I thought that was going wide when I said he should score. I thought it was just going to sail wide, but right into the top corner. It took two touches from Bielek. One to turn, one to pass, and we've scored. Who knew Bartos Bielek was going to be the playmaker we needed in this game? Fantastic. Okay, with space. Pongracic with an interception. Slager pulling the ball out wide. Baku's coming with him. I can see Locatelli coming as well. How's his shot? Because he's got space here. Oh, good save. Brekolo coming forward, coming inside. And finding Schlager. Can we find... Oh, Bielek, Schlager's pass isn't good enough. Baku, Brekolo, Arnold. Bielek, is he onside? He's finished it. He is. Oh, my Lord. That is not what I expected. If anyone deserves the goal, it's Bartos Bielek. But he looked miles offside to me. Schlager wins the ball back here. Baku plays it into Arnold. He just looks offside. I'm not sure, but he's... He scored it. Questionable for sure, but a huge goal from Bartos Bielek to put us ahead now with less than a minute to go. There it goes. There it goes. That's a huge win. That's a huge win in the context of the group. Away at Atletico Madrid and we've won 2-1. And it's all down to Bartos Bielek. All down to him coming on and just changing the game completely with his first two touches. Unreal. It's time for everyone's favourite little bit now. Well, as I said then, it's time for everyone's favourite little bit, which is, of course, player of the episode. And it can only go to one man, and that is Bartos PLA. Changing the game against Atletico, running the show against Marseille. He is the Champions League man at the moment, the go-to man in that competition. He's having a great time. Last episode... Vegor showed me he still got it at goal scoring, but this episode, Bielek showed me that I don't know who to start. I have absolutely no idea who to start now, because 
that is an unbelievable couple of performances from him. Unreal. What a player. I don't know what to do, but we have had an unsettled youth player, so we'll go to that now. And when this does happen, I will show you this at the end of an episode. Connor Williams does want to be promoted. He's unsettled in the youth academy, so we'll promote him to the first team in January. He'll look for a loan. He's good now, CDM, 61 overall. So let's hope for some progress when he goes out on loan in January. But looking at the league then, we sit in third. Now, we were top after the last episode, but third isn't too bad, I suppose. Post, level on points with Bayern who just have a better goal difference and three points behind Dortmund who you can see there on the right we play next so that's a massive game so don't miss that one I'm gonna end this episode here um, if you did enjoy this one please do leave a like tell me where you think we can go in the Champions League subscribe to the channel as well I'm pushing towards 750 now we're really getting close to to 1k so I would appreciate anyone who's new to subscribe and I will see you all in the next one